Ooh, shiny! The glow squid are magnificent creatures, aren't they? Wait a minute. I'm forgetting something. But I just can't seem to... Oh, <laughs> right. Well, anyways, hello everyone and welcome! My name is System Z, and today we've created a new biome exclusively for the glow squid in Minecraft's Caves and Cliffs update. So, that being said, welcome to the Lumen Biome! If you enjoy the video, consider subscribing, or face the wrath of the glow squid's hypnosis. Hello everyone and welcome to yet again another video. My name of course is System Z and today I am incredibly excited for what we have created. My team and I have made a new biome for the glow squid. In case you missed it, I made a video all about- oh goodness, he's, he's kind of- Wanting to be a land runner, isn't he? <laughs> so I have created multiple videos about the beautiful glowing cephalopod known as the glow squid. And in one of those videos, I brought multiple new ideas to the table. Like, for example, throwable, glowable ink sacks that actually put out a light source. But what I didn't realize was that we could create a new biome specifically for the glow squid altogether. So, that being said, my friends, let me introduce you to... The Lumen Biome! <laughs> Let's get started. Well, my friends, I say it's time we jump right into the water and get ourselves going. This is the Lumen Biome. A new biome designed entirely from scratch by my team. And as you can see, we are currently in an underwater river canal, which is how you would actually find what you are about to witness. This upcoming is the Lumen Cavern, a new biome dedicated exclusively to the glow squid. Now I'm underwater. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Welcome to the Lumen Cavern. Cavern. Ca yeah, we can do that via editing. I really don't have to repeat myself. I don't need air. <laughs> I'll be fine. Uh, I'll be fine. I need it! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. As you can see, most of this biome is... Well, simply put, glowing plant life and crystals, but we'll get to that here momentarily. We've even got a new mob that we'll take a look at here momentarily, and it's not the glow squid, which I am now hypnotized, but that's okay. This biome is so beautiful, in fact, that I needed to make a background track for it. That's right, I made music for this biome. Let's go ahead and set the tone, shall we? <coughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. Ah, just as the biome was intended to be experienced. As you can see, there are all sorts of amazing things to look at in this biome, and we'll get to all the different blocks here at the end, but one very important key feature to look at is the lumen bud, which as you can see grows on the ceiling. It can also grow essentially on any side of a block, but what it does is actually puts out the particles that you see all around us. And I absolutely love them. I think they are designed very well. They really bring life to this biome and make it feel very luminescent, which is where it gets its name, the Lumen Biome. But I know what you're thinking. What about this new mob that you're telling us about? Well, let me get some air first. Oh, goodness. Okay, <laughs> there we go. You know, a little clumsy. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so this new mob is actually known as the Lumen beetle and i absolutely love the idea of more bug type mobs in minecraft we have the bee currently and the bat which isn't even a bug and it's really useless so definitely more flying creatures would be amazing but the lumen beetle is one of my favorites and the reason why is they actually glow as you can see here they have an emissive texture set which absolutely looks amazing but it doesn't end there they are attracted to light and they are actually very defensive if we hit the guy, you can see that we actually get nausea and even slowness, and they even put out particles in the process. Just look at them, aren't they so magnificent? I actually really love the idea of them having dynamic lighting as well, meaning anywhere they go, they actually leave a little bit of a trail of light around them. But unfortunately in Minecraft, that is something we really don't have, so it's very likely that we would really never see that. Now just to kind of get a better glimpse of that hypnosis effect there. I love the idea of nausea when you hit them. It's just their way of being defensive. But there's actually something really cool about the Lumen Beetle, and that is that if you hold a light source, 
they'll actually be attracted to it. So they are attracted to essentially all light sources, whereas the Warden is attracted to sound. And you could probably see where I'm going with this, but I love the idea that you can't actually tame a Lumen Beetle, but you can have them follow you. So if you manage to find one and bring it all the way to the deep dark, you can actually use it to scare away the Warden, which I know that might sound overpowered, but keep in mind, you have to actually walk with them and have them follow you because you can't tame them. And essentially by having them do so, they would scare off the Warden. This would be a really fun way to actually protect yourself and build up a sense of defense and would give the Lumen Beetle kind of a mechanic that we really don't have otherwise. Plus, I mean, how amazing is it to just have a whole bunch of Lumen Beetles flying around? This is just awesome. I am the Lumen King and this is my army. Also, regarding the Lumen Beetle, let me know what you think they could actually drop because as of right now, they really don't have any item drop. But still, how fun is it to get nausea and slowness? You know, I never thought I would say that but let me know what your thoughts are on everything in this biome and what blocks you think should be added and what you think should maybe be removed now I'm sure by now you are probably pretty curious about some of the blocks that we've got hidden all over the place surely you can kind of put things together these are the glowing vines and of course we've got the glowing kelp but there's also new coral blocks, which as you can see here, look just like this. And they actually go really well with blocks like Prismarine. I'm one for blocks any time we can get them in Minecraft. I know sometimes it's weird to add them if they don't really have any particular use. But more than anything, they just bring atmosphere to an area. And like I said, they go well with Prismarine. So these would be a great way to decorate, say, an ocean monument as an example. And they also put out light, which is something that I think we definitely need more of. But there's actually a really unique block that I'm going to leave to you to decipher exactly what you think this could bring to the game. My friends, this is a Luminite Crystal. A very rare crystal, seeing as you can only find it in this biome, which is pretty rare on its own. You can see that they actually shift colors, and they are the only thing in this biome that do so. I think they are amazing, I think they're really cool, I just don't know exactly how they could be used. Simply put, you could use them maybe in brewing to create some sort of potion, perhaps you could use them to make some very cool glowing items, or even use them to make luminite armor, which I think sounds really cool. Maybe that could be the one and only source of armor in Minecraft that could glow. Well, my friends, that is going to do it for the Lumen Cavern, which, as I've said, is the exact biome for the Glow Squid. A lot of people were upset when the Glow Squid won the vote because, simply put, they did not think it could bring a lot of cool content into Minecraft. And I'll admit, I didn't vote for the Glow Squid either, but as you can see, there are a lot of really cool possibilities. Now, I actually do plan on releasing this as a mod very, very far down in the future once we actually have 1.17 as an additional pack to the update. But that being said, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my Glow Squid Ideas video where I talked about throwable glowing ink sacs and a whole lot more. It's the perfect companion to this video. You can click the icon in the top right corner now to see that. I mean, come on. Why wouldn't you want something as amazing as throwable ink sacks? Just look at this. And honestly, in this biome, this would be really cool as well if it just generated like this. I also love the idea of a fish that glows, but I really don't know how that would look, especially considering there's already so many glowing things to look at. But still, just imagine a tropical fish pet that actually glows. That would be really cool. You know what else would be cool? Air! I need air! Oh, there we go. St too many times. I keep doing that. <laughs> All right, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And while you're at it, consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that you never miss an upload. And also, just a huge thank you to everybody who has been subscribing lately. Honestly, the channel has been doing very well. In fact, the best it's done all year, and I really have only you guys to thank for that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We are on our way to 600,000 subscribers, so it would really mean a lot. Hello, Lumen Beetle. I see you just trying to join in on the outro here, but that's okay. The more, the merrier. But seriously, it just means a lot that you guys support me this way, and I'm really glad that you've been enjoying the videos. But that being said, my name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I worked hard on the song for the biome, so en enjoy this atmospheric little thing. I, I don't know. Thanks. <laughs>